Kinetic and Gravitational Potential Energy Stores by kscience.com. This orange is currently stationary, which means it's got no energy in its kinetic energy store. I can then transfer energy from my chemical store into the orange's kinetic energy store, which means it will start to move. Let's use this example of a ball. The ball is on the ground and it's currently stationary. That means it's got no energy in its kinetic energy store. So if we apply a force on the ball and make it move, we're going to transfer energy into the ball's kinetic energy store. So the ball is now moving. So the object now has kinetic energy. Let's use this example of a ball. The ball is on the ground and it's currently stationary. That means it's got no energy in its kinetic energy store. So if we apply a force on the ball and make it move, we're going to transfer energy into the ball's kinetic energy store. So the ball is now moving. So the object now has kinetic energy. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So we've seen that kinetic energy is the energy store when an object is moving. But what is gravitational potential energy? This is a ball at ground level, which means it's got no energy in its gravitational potential energy store. Let's now say someone applies a force to the ball and it leaves the ground and goes into the air. The ball now has energy in its gravitational potential energy store. Because it's moving, it also has energy in its kinetic energy store. So now the ball is above ground level. So it stores gravitational potential energy. It stores gravitational potential energy. And if you increase the height of the ball again from the ground, the gravitational potential energy stored in the ball is going to increase. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When the ball is stationary, there is no energy in its kinetic energy store. However, when the ball is moving, as you can see here, the object's energy in its kinetic energy store is going to increase. And the faster the ball is moving, the more energy it has in its kinetic energy store, which means that it's going to have more energy stored in the kinetic energy store of the ball. So when it comes to gravitational potential energy, because this ball here is at ground level. It has no energy in its gravitational potential energy store. And as the ball goes higher and higher away from the ground, so it increases its height away from the ground, the energy in the ball's gravitational potential energy store is going to increase. And if you increase the height of the ball again from the ground, the gravitational potential energy stored in the ball is going to increase. When the ball falls back down to the ground, the energy stored in the gravitational potential energy of the ball is going to decrease. And once it's back at ground level, there'll be no gravitational potential energy stored in the ball. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow, and if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.